Hey guys, welcome back to a Healthy Talk Tuesday video. I'm super excited to be doing this video for you guys. I put together some favorite go-to breakfast recipes. I will have all these recipes linked down in the description box as well. And as of right now, I am making these overnight oats. You guys, these are super easy to make. You can make it the day before or the night before and just have it ready to go, especially if you know that you are in a time crunch um, when it comes to the mornings. And this is just super easy. My go-to, love it. You guys have to try it. And my next breakfast recipe that I really like to make are these healthy pancakes. I actually found this recipe on Pinterest. I will have that link down below. It is super yummy. I like that this uh, pancake recipe isn't super filling because I know that after, I don't know about you guys, but after I eat pancakes, I always just feel super full and sick because usually I just eat too much and it's just like super thick feeling if that makes any sense. But I like these because it's very, uh, it's thin. Um, it's thinner it's healthier and it just leaves a more of like a refreshing feel like breakfast yummy I don't know recipe that I just really like making if that makes <laughs> any sense but um so as you guys can see as I'm uh, as I'm making them you can definitely tell that it's a lot thinner consistency so um, I just like to make smaller ones uh, for the kids and I and they literally love this <laughs> Instead of using syrup, I like to use this PB Fit. Um, I like I like it because it comes in this uh, powder consistency, so you can add more water to make it to a thinner consistency. So that's kind of why I like to make it more as like substitute it as a syrup because I feel like it's a little bit healthier than just like pouring sugar all over it. And that's how it looks. It doesn't look super appetizing, but it's super bomb. <laughs> And this next recipe is super basic. I literally just get two pieces of toast and I get some more of that PB Fit and I mix it all together and then I just uh, kind of make like this peanut butter banana toast. Just slice up some bananas and put um, it on top of the PB Fit on top of the toast. So um, I feel like you can really get more creative with this. Uh, you guys can add like fruit, um, you know, avocado. So any kind of toast I really like to make in the morning, especially if I know that I'm going to be more on the go. So this is a really good, easy go-to recipe um, for those who um, who also are just, you know, usually running super busy in the mornings, who have to work or if you got plans or anything. And I just love it because it's very filling and super yummy. This next recipe that I'm making is this delicious breakfast burrito. Now I love this too is because you can make a ton of these ahead of time and just have them you know wrapped up in some saran wrap or in a container and then just warm it up in the microwave and take it with you on the go or even you can take it with you to work and eat it at work if you have a microwave at work but um I just really like it because it's very easy to prep for or if you're having more of a relaxed morning it's nice it's a nice way to just kind of uh, kind of go a little bit extra mile besides just eggs and bacon um, and so as you guys can see I'm just shredding some cheese here putting some cheese on it super bomb love it and then I also like to add salsa I don't know if anyone else has thought of that but I love putting salsa on my uh, eggs and it just makes it taste tastes a little bit, uh, gives it a little bit more flavor than just the plain cheese and eggs and bacon if you guys feel me. So this is a super yummy recipe that I like to make as well. <laughs> And 
And last but not least, I of course love making just a breakfast smoothie. Like I just feel like these are just so delicious, so great, so refreshing, especially if you're not super hungry in the morning. I highly suggest to never skip a meal, especially breakfast. So whenever I'm not feeling the hungriest or if I'm just being kind of lazy, I will just whip up this smoothie. So it's super easy because you can have this prepped the night before. Just add all the ingredients besides the milk into a bag and then literally, uh, you know, the next morning just put all the ingredients into the cup and the milk, add the milk and then blend it and you're good to go. So that way you don't have to do too much prepping in the morning. Um, so that's just another um, kind of time cruncher time saver tip as well and I love adding this green key supplement that I have it has just jam-packed greens in it super bomb so that is the last recipe I hope you guys really enjoyed this video let me know if you guys want to see a lunch recipe uh, video and I would love to whip that up for you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on self-love Sunday mm -hmm.